Hello everyone, welcome back to MC Eternal. Last episode, we went around and discovered the locations of the chance block, where it told us to go to, so the coordinates. We went over there and uh, over there, and we got some pretty cool stuff, but I also have another plan. So, if we head down to the ground, and we grab our Book of, Book of Disenchantment, now, this takes enchantments off of items. This is what I've been using to disenchant my items. There's a few other ways. Uh, from industrial foregoing, at least. I know that much from the comments. I don't know what it... I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> I guess I could look through here. It'll be one of them. Enchantment sorter. No. Uh, extractor. It'll probably be this one, right? Put an enchantment in, take an enchantment out. And remove one enchantment from the item and apply it to the book. Yeah. So, I could make one of these. Uh, the extractor. Pretty simple to make. I honestly could make one. Uh, but I'll show off how I normally do it. Or how I have been doing it. Because I didn't know that was an option. Uh, that's if I placed my grave down. It might be out the front of the old home. Yeah, here it is. So these graves here. You make a simple grave. Uh, like this. So dark marble. And any type of head. And the dark marble is made with uh, stone and graves dust. So then you get a book of disenchantment. Which is uh, made like so. Grave dust, lapis, and a book. You place it in your hotbar. And you place the item you want to disenchant. So I've got the Divine Helmet. With Protection 10. Aqua Affinity 10. And Unbreaking 10. And then. You just right click the grave. And it puts it into a book. So now we have Protection 10 on a book. Now. I want to see if I can put Protection 10 on my boots. So. We should be able to. I think there's a. Anvil still in this building? Yes. Here we go. So let's grab these boots. And we'll also grab our armor. And we'll see if it works on here. I don't think we can... Where does it show? It does. Protection. What's the difference? Can we see, like, the act, the real difference? We can't. It costs 35 levels. Should I do that? Or should I put it on my boots? Hmm... Huh. I mean, we can put it on both, right? Uh, how much levels can I get out of my book? So, inside of my tome. Now, this should have enough. Because I put holding four on it, which is an enchantment that makes it hold more. <laughs> right? So, I should be able to give myself 35 levels. We have 35 levels. So, let's see here. Let's put the armor on. So, here we are. If we have all of our armor on. The entire right side's full, and we're at three and a half. Now, I don't think it changes when you have it enchanted, but we'll keep track of it anyway. So, three and a half extra. Bam. Protection 10. You can see at the bottom, just above the mod's name, Constructs Armory at the bottom, it says Protection 10. So, it's applied on it. Uh, it hasn't moved here, but we'll assume that it worked, right? Uh, yeah, we'll assume. So, do we also want Unbreaking and Aqua Affinity? Maybe. Right? Uh, I don't see why we wouldn't. Uh, we'll sleep with the pet. There we go. I do have more books, so it's not an issue. And I think we have plenty of experience. So let's grab this. And we'll completely disenchant it. Ah, oh, we'll only be able to do one. So the other thing is it takes, I believe, a whole Minecraft day or like 30 minutes for these to grab new souls. So that is the one downside. So Aqua Affinity 10. We should be able to put that on our, on our helmet. Perfect. Do, 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 do. We're going to need 35 levels again. I assume it's 35. Charging it up. Charging up our levels. Shift right clicking. 35. 36. Give or take. <laughs> Aqua Affinity. Hell yeah. There we go. So that lets us mine underwater a lot easier, right? Is that how that one works? I think so. Our water is pretty far away. Uh, I also want to actually make the uh, block now. So here we can terminate that guy. And let, because we give it, we <laughs> I'm tongue twisted. Because we had to uh, wait for the souls to come back, I guess it's not actually that good, right? So we might as well make ourselves a uh, extractor. An enchantment extractor. So let's put it in the top left. So it's up here in your bookmarks. And we'll make a machine frame because these ones are easier. Uh, glass. Glass. Oh, glass. Thickened glass? No. Clear glass. Bam. Machine frame. Perfect. 
Then we need probably a gold gear, so I'll make one. Then we need anything? Plastic. What? Has this been making plastic or is it off? This is off. Oh my god, why is it off? Huh, who let this happen? So it has the water, it has the latex, but it's off. Always active. On. On. You know what I can do? Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we can time it up a bit. Actually, I can put that back. What's this? Quarter sandstone. Boop, 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 boop. That should be good. <laughs> I don't know why I made noises to go along with it, but, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you get what you get. Oh, that made plenty. That made plenty. So now we can make it into dry rubber. Dry rubber. And cook it up. Simple as that. Oh, yes. We still have some stuff that we can put in. Uh, yeah, I'll throw it in there. Why not? We got some ice. We'll collect it up. Boom. We've got the plastic. We have everything we need. We can dump it all away. Go up here. Doo -doo -doo. Bam. Enchantment extractor. Uh, we can place this over here, I think. Um, yep, we've got power hooked up right next to here as well. So, I should be able to get a cable. We're using bundled cable because that's what we have at the moment. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about it. I did have a look at the dimensions as well. RF Tools Dimensions. I read that book. I didn't read it a lot, but I read a little bit. <laughs> How does... Where does it go? I'm holding shift, so it goes here. And then I get a book, right? Um, sort by amount. So the book should be up here. Let's grab these books. And I believe I placed the books here. That makes sense. So now we have Unbreaking 10. And we have our empty helmet. So if we search Divine again, we can clear that. We can grab this next one. So it's still named the same, but it's just lame now. I can place this here and it should do all of them. Blast protection, thorns, and unbreaking. Hell yeah. There we go. Okay. So I'm curious as well. Um, here, what we can do, we can take all this off. We can take off this as well. And we can put them in here. And this should... Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. This doesn't actually repair my armor. This powered anvil. But it repairs other stuff like the axe. Look, durability's gone up. Repairs it. I don't need a repair, so I'm not too fussed about it. We actually throw it back in the system. Um, so, luckily I've got this uh, golden heart to repair my stuff. Uh, so, what do we want to do? We wanted to, we've already got protection 10. What do we get? Unbreaking 10. So, we wanted to see if we can put unbreaking 10 on anything. Can I? So, I can put unbreaking 10 on this, and I don't think, I don't know if it matters or not. Unbreaking 10 on our armor? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe on our boots, because our boots are a lot weaker, right? So let's get Unbreaking 10. It costs 35 levels. We should have enough. We're at, what, 20? Almost 30. 35. Boom. So we're going to put this here and get our Unbreaking. There we go. Protection 3, Unbreaking 10. Um, What else can we put on it? We can put Thorns 10 on. You know, I might put Thorns 10. Oh, the, th the problem with Thorns is, do I want it so that if something attacks me, it's going to, like, instantly die? Do I want that? Because what if, like, I don't know, something that I don't want to kill attacks me? It'll just die. I don't really want that. Um, hmm. What else do I want to put things on? Unbreaking 10. Do I, like, do I want to put Unbreaking 10 on this stuff? I mean, I guess, right? There's no real harm in doing it. I'm just trying to think of... Oh, can I put it on this? I can. Oh, there we go. That is a worthwhile investment. Oh, my. Uh, 35. So now our golden heart shouldn't hurt as much. Like, it shouldn't lose as much durability while it's repairing my other stuff. Okay. It's given me regeneration instead of repairing my stuff, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's eat a Vindaloo. So I've also, because I ate these two different foods, 
watch my health my heart actually goes green now we've got like three bars of health <laughs> which is crazy so now is this why isn't this repairing all my stuff oh it is it is oh oh my god that is insane I just realized what was happening. It's repairing my tools, but because it has unbreaking 10, it's just like not losing any durability. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my God. Okay, so that's set up. That wasn't going to be the focus of this episode. This episode, I wanted to hop into uh, the oil and stuff. So I believe it was from Thermal Expansion. I hope. It was a dynamo. A compression dynamo? Compression dynamo. What does this use? Yeah, refined fuel. So we get refined fuel, which will generate a certain amount. And then there's also an upgrade for that. Uh, one of these upgrades. Fuel catalyst. More energy is produced by fuels. And then I think this. This is what we want as well. So let's make one of these. We need electrum for it. Hey, you know what? Let's not make one of those. Let's make an actual... Let's make the thing that we need. The, oh, it's actually really cheap. Okay. So let's make a compression dynamo. Right, let's make... How many should we do? I feel like four is a good amount. So let's see if we can get four going. Four going? Industrial four going? Eh, eh? No? Okay. <laughs> One, two... Oh, we need more gears. We need more gears. More tin gears. Let's make a bunch. Uh, compression dynamo. Two, three. Right. So, dynamo... We have our compression dynamo. What's that? Steam dynamo. Okay. And then we also need a refiner. No. Oil refiner is what we need. I don't know exactly what they're called. So, so be, bear with me here while we learn what they're called and then learn how they actually, how they work. Maybe it's called a fuel. Oh, it's, oh, it's called like a, is it a distillery? Maybe? Distillation tower? No? No, am I wrong? Oh, okay, let's let's just hear. Yeah, yeah. Easy solution. Ref oh, refinery, right? Refinery? Yeah. No, sludge refinery. <laughs> yeah, where's refined fuel? Refined fuel, how do you make this? In a fractionating still. <laughs> we got there in the end, ladies and gentlemen. And a reflux column, what does this do? Greatly increases conversion efficiency for fossil fuels. So, that's pretty good. Additional energy is required. Okay. So first up, we need some of these. Can we make them? No. Let's uh, add it to our recipe on the left. Okay. Machine frame. Should be easy. We just need the clear glass. Yep. Perfect. Um, I'll make a few of them. I <laughs> just use all my gears. That's fine. Um, then we need some of these gears, which we don't have any constantin. Con constantin. Constantin. Gear working die in a compactor. Well, I guess... We, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to learn how to make the stuff. Induction smelter. Is there a recipe in here? Copper and nickel. Easy enough. Copper. Oh, we've already got some stuff. Nickel. Oh, we've already got some stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it was meant to be. Look at this. We have exactly what we need. Perfect. Oh, it's making... It's giving me double. I wasn't expecting that. Bam. Uh, what? What? Why didn't I autofill? I was hoping it would. Constantin. Const Constantin. -tin. Make one, <coughs> one of these. I'm I'm choking on air, apparently. Uh, clear glass. Don't worry, it's not the... Uh, it's not he who shall not be named. I, I think. I hope. Okay, so now we have a fractioning still. Uh, I think we'll do our oil generation. Hmm. Do we want it where our power gen is, or do we want it in the building? I guess we'll do it where the power gen currently is, right? And let's actually use some uh, ender tanks for this. Ender tank. Oh, tank. So, can we just make them right up? We can. We can make one, and we're going to need another one. Is there an autofill? No. We need a cauldron. So now, ender tanks are really cool. And I'll show you why in a second. If we get some black dye, which we have a decent amount now. Um, let's head over here. And where are we wanting to hook this up? I guess just right here, you know, like have... Uh, do we want a wall? Or do we want like a new section? 
Let's just have it like. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where to put it. I guess it's not permanent. We can just place it there for now. Let's place this here. Let's get our uh, cable. Let's get some bundled cable and hook this up. Uh, I guess there. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, it probably does, but for now, for now it's fine. Everyone, everyone relax. So here, we can place a ender tank here. And what we can actually do is this on the top is a combination. So currently, these two ender tanks are linked together because they're white, white, white. So white, white, white. What I can do is because we're doing oil, let's make it black, black, black. Now, can I do that on here? Maybe, maybe in a crafting table. I'm pretty sure if I made it with black wool, it would do this, but... Oh, yep, that works. Wait, no, that's black, white, white. Oh, now that's two blacks. Now that's black, black, black. Okay, okay. Apparently, you can do it in your inventory exactly like that. Very simple. <laughs> so, that's that set up. So, now... When oil's pumped into one of these ender tanks, it'll show up in the other one. So that's perfect. We can have the top of it be input, and we can right click this, and I think that has it on output, I think. I think that's how it works. We'll, we'll see once we get it set up. So now we want to head over to our oil, which is all the way down this way. Uh, we can actually, do we have enough for a waystone? And we'll set up a waystone down there. We're going to need some more stone bricks, but we have the other stuff. Can we make some stone bricks? We can. Perfect. Here we go. We've got a waystone, so it'll be a quick travel back to the base from the setup we're going to do. Uh, I do still have my slime slime sling. I don't have my slime boots on me, but it's fine. Everything shall be A-OK. -okay. No need to stress. Uh, where exactly is the oil? Oh, I see it on the map. We are headed the right direction. So what we want to do is just set up a pump. Now, the pump we're using is... Where'd that pump go? Didn't we... We had an industrial foregoing pump. Did I leave that in the deep dark? Okay, I think I left it in the deep dark. So, we'll we'll sling over to here. I'll set up the waystone so that we can easily get back over here. And then I'll go and grab that pump. Because I've also... The comments have helped me as well. So, this is oil. Done. Let's... uh. So this will be on the next page. Let's head back home. Let's head into the deep dark. And I've got to, f I've got to find where I where I put this uh, pump. And pick him back up. Pick back up the pump. And if I can't find it, we can just make a new one. It's not uh, not the end of the world. Uh, the beneath is taking a little while to load. Okay. I think we're in. We are in. Um, now, it was by the blue stuff, which I see on the map is this way. So, let me set up a new portal and grab back this. Blue will go there. I will fall down. Okay, I'm good. Uh, I'll place the portal there. And here is the pump. Perfect. Yoink. Ah! 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 What? Okay. Apparently, I am... Apparently, that stuff traps you in. So, lesson learned. Don't jump in that stuff. That stuff is horrible. That's the worst stuff I've ever seen. Right, back to the overworld. We got our pump. We are we are outie. So, this pump, we need a range upgrade for. So, I believe that is why it didn't work. The comments told me that we need a range add-on for industrial foregoing. So, we'll get the emerald one again. It's the easiest one to make. We need another emerald though. So... To do this, we need... Do we have any bones? No. Do we have any flesh? We do. So what I can do is I can grab all this rotten flesh and, and watch how insanely broken uh, this is. So if we head up top... Did I bring it back over here? It might still be at the old base. But we should have a shipping bin somewhere around here. No? Right, I'll make a shipping bin because I don't like heading back to the other base just for a shipping bin. So, bam. We have a shipping bin now. We'll place it right here. What this can do is, if I switch here, we can get rotten flesh. 16 rotten flesh for an emerald. 
I saw some people having issues with getting emeralds. They have to set up like villager farms and all that kind of stuff. Look at this. It's not automated. I don't think you can automate it, but <laughs> we started off with zero emeralds in our hand and just a bunch of rotten flesh. We now have 40 emeralds. That's uh, That is fine by me. Range add-on. Boom. Best add-on. We'll grab that. Is that the range add-on that we needed? Or is it a different type of add-on? Let's do at industrial. Because apparently the add-on is meant to make it so that it mines or it pumps liquids all around. So that might not actually be the upgrade that we need. Fluid transfer add-on. It could be as well. So I might have got it. That might be all we need. But I'll just have a look to make sure. So I think we're good. Because I don't see any other up upgrades here, right? There's these fluid upgrades, but I don't think they do anything. Item stacks, leaf shearing, energy field, and then it's just range add-ons. So I think we're good. I guess we'll find out, right? That's that's the thrill of thrill of the fight. We'll find out. Compression, dynamo. No, we don't want that yet. We want the pump. Um, so another thing is... We need to get power over there, right? So I should be able to just get a flux point. These flux points are very helpful. It definitely saves me from uh, setting up the whole GPS system. Uh, it costs a bit more to make, I think. But it's, it seems to be pretty good. So I should be able to head over here. Now, I believe we'll test it out in a, in a safe spot like here. Now, I believe if I stand in it... Yeah, look. This is me trying to move through the oil. It is extremely difficult to move through. So, we do not want to fall into the oil. Okay? We we don't want to fall into it. Hopefully, this isn't some horrible foreshadowing, but we don't want to fall into it. But we do want to place the pump right at the top. This looks really ugly, doesn't it? I probably should have set up stairs, right? Do we have a building tool on us? We do. So I can set up a bit of a surface going. No? Shift right click? Uh, horizontal wall? That works. Here we go. We're getting there. Now it's out of dirt, which isn't the prettiest, but I can change it. So it's, once again, it's not the end of the world. We don't need a stress about the it being dirt but uh i should be able to place this fluid pump here i can place this on top i can place a flux point on the side of it network one disable limit so the pump should be getting power yep it's full of power but it hasn't pumped anything but if i place the range add-on in does it do the thing? Show working area. Okay, it looks like everything's covered. Hide working area. Uh, how do we get it to start pumping? Is the real question. Does it need to be directly above it? Have I placed it one block too high? I think I may have. Let's pick up this stuff. Hopefully nothing breaks permanently. Okay, I think we're good. Now, how can I place it one block lower? Vertical column, two. Exactly like that. What a beautiful tool. So many features. <laughs> so I can place that there. I can place this on top again. The flux point. And it's doing it. There we go. Uh, do we have it going into here? Maybe I've got to set up uh, pumps. Output tank. Oh, output? Up. Up. Do I need to change that? Is that now outputting? 10? No, that's not outputting. Okay. Uh, I mean, there might be a way to do it. I just don't know how. So we're just going to get a fluid extraction cable. Because cyclic, I know. So, cyclic I use, <laughs> right? Here, we can do that and and that. And that should take the oil out and put the oil in here. Perfect. 
Now we can very awkwardly fall down here. And we should be good to go. Now I know that that whole thing that just happened there looks hideous. I'm I'm well aware of that, but for now we're alright. All of these trees are from this nature core. I just realized why there's trees around us. And and grass, like an insane amount of grass. I <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna leave it. We've also got some mobs. We're just gonna leave it. I know it's annoying. I know grass is annoying, but it's something new. So we'll, we'll leave it for now. <laughs> I'm going to regret that. I already do with these trees. Okay. So, this is making tar and naphtha. Now, naphtha. What can I do with naphtha? Wait. How do we... Refined oil. Refined oil or is it refined fuel? Refined fuel. To make refined fuel is naphtha in a fractioning still. So we need another fractioning still. So let's make one of these. Uh, we're going to need more of this constantinium. Con constantinum. Con constantinum. Tum. Constantum. Oh, but the good thing about trees is I can place a portal on a tree. Head up. Trees are beautiful. Trees are natural platforms for placing portals. That's all they're, that's all they're really for, you know? <laughs> oh, don't want to drop that. Uh, I'll put that back in the system, actually. So, we're going to need two gears. One, two. Perfect. And can we make it right now? Bam! No. <laughs> we need one of these. We also need a nickel gear. Hopefully, we have nickel. We do. I accidentally made two somehow. There we go. Get clear glass. Place the clear glass there and there. Bam! Another fractioning still. Exactly what we needed. Let's head back. I've... I set up portals for this exact reason, so I wouldn't have to do this, and here I am. Um, bam, that saved us a lot of time. Look, we could have walked over here, but instead we lagged our way over with portals. <laughs> so now I should be able to place this. We can right click, we can turn it all off. We want input to be from the right. We want output to be on the left. So now this has naphtha. Now I can open up under here and place our bundled cable. Yep. So now this is making refined fuel, right? So then from here, we can set up our compression dynamos in a system like so. Uh, can I wrench it upside down? I can. Okay, that works. So I can place all these, I can wrench them upside down with a billion right clicks, and then that should be good. From here, I can set up, uh, ooh, I just realized I don't want to have, I want to pick these up, and I want to move them a little bit. Just a little bit. In fact, I think that's enough. So I'll, I'll actually put a, a cable back there. And this should be good. Do, 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 do. Oh, I went too far. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's good. Because now I can have the fluid come out of here and go in there. Right? I can have fluid output from the left but it also took the the items out so I'll need a chest just to clean up that mess that we have in the system so I should be able to place a chest here and this will eventually get yeah the sulfur and I mean because it's all connected in theory I should be able to also have the stuff output from the bottom because it's a bundled cable and it won't go through into this system right? I mean, it doesn't seem to want to put the tar into the system automatically oh it has the tar should end up in here eventually is my theory that's my my theory so we'll keep an eye on that I guess if it's just in the system it's tar incoming from west Okay, I think it's realized it can't go that way, so it's going back the other way. Hopefully. 
that what's happened, or is the tar permanently in this one, and we just can't see it? Ah. Uh, oh, this isn't hooked up entirely. Now. Now it should work. Now, eventually, the tar should end up in this. Anyway, these should be good now. These have refined fuel. They need water as well, it seems. So that's a quite a simple fix. That involves getting buckets of water. We have two buckets. We have zero water. We have water over at the base, luckily. And what we can do is we can set up a different type of pump that isn't even a pump. I believe I can get fluid extraction, the same thing we just got, this uh, fluid extraction thingy. Little doohickey, do doohickey. And I believe I can place this here. Look at this. This is filling up. So now, I can place these here. And these should fill up with water. Infinitely. Infinite water. Infinite power. Now, um, we need to also hook this power... No, the power's already hooked up. So the power's hooked up. The power's good. This is receiving power from these, right? This power shouldn't stay buffered. Unless it needs to. This one is on. Why are these ones yellow? Um, I'm not too sure. Well, all of these are full. This is charging. This is limited by 5,000 because this is limited. So I don't want that. But it also doesn't matter because of the simple fact that that's only... So only the power that's getting outputted here is limited, right? Is this limited? No, this is just full. Because our, our power is hooked up directly to these uh, wireless doohickeys. And these... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The generators are also hooked up to there. So everything's, everything's hooked up. We shouldn't be limited. The only limiting factor we have at the moment are these energy transfer nodes. But on top of that, uh, do we actually have a... No, we don't. Let's, uh, let's get a flux at flux. Let's get an import uh, for adding network. Let's get one of these. So I need some more of this. I need an eye vendor, which we have plenty of capabilities to make. So let's get a add energy. One of these. I need another flux block, which means I'm going to need another one of uh, these and another one of these, and then we should be able to make a flux plug for adding network, for adding energy into the network. Now, I can connect this up to, oh, what should I connect it up to? The battery or just the power generation? How much can this output? Do I know? Hold shift and control. Oh, it says right here. <laughs> I'm dumb. It, so this can output 25,000 RF a tick. That is enough to power the quantum core. The quantum core uses 20,000 RF a tick. So this is good. We can connect it directly to this. We can have it be output up. And we can place our flux plug here. Select the network. Network 1. So now the network is receiving the right amount. So we can also get another flux uh, plug. This time the other type. Oh, perfect. Uh... For removing net from removing energy, so we get one of these. Uh, we can also hook this back up to the system. Uh, I guess I'll put it back in my, in my room. So this is hooked up. These are just going to make power. This shouldn't get naphtha. I don't want this to get naphtha. So I, I messed up here. I don't want that. Uh, we can do just that outputting at the bottom, and that should be fine. But I do not want the naphtha to go out there. So this is. This guy's fine. I mean, he's he's still making power. Like, it's not a biggie. He's doing what? He can do 40. These can all do 40. Um, oh, I've, I've also got to get upgrades for these guys. Um, at thermal. Um, so, it's... What's it for? Um, I've already forgotten where it is. Uh, I can read what they're for. So, for dynamos. Increased output. Increases power generation. So I think I want this. Oh, I don't want that. I want to press enter. So I think I want that. How do I know? What, what am I doing? Why is it doing A? I want... 
Yeah, I want to <laughs> do that. There we go. So increased output, increased efficiency. More energy is produced by fuels. Okay. We might be able to do that too. Side accessibility allows insertion and extraction through the coil. Advanced throttle prevents RF loss due to saturation. Converts an applicable dynamo into a steam boiler. Increases effective fuel efficiency. Generation cannot be throttled. Steam is produced instead of RF. Okay. Uh, greatly increases power generation. Oh, that's for a steam dynamo. So these are just for any dynamo. So this is for steam dynamos. So ours is a compression. So coolant is no longer consumed for operation. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, specialization greatly increases power generation and efficiency. Only refined fuel can be utilized. So I think that's what we want. I think that's the specific one that we want. Compression dynamo for gasoline. Um, and this one's just, oh, that's for only for elemental. Oh, that's for reactant. Okay. So at the moment, all three of these seem all right. So what we can do is we can get upgrade kit. We can get Signalum upgrade kits, and that that's all we would need. But we would need uh, all of these. So what could we... I wish there was a way to make just specifically this. So I guess I need conversion. Upgrade kit, upgrade kit, upgrade kit. Conversion kit, conversion kit. Okay. So if I get... Upgrade kits... I can turn it straight into a conversion kit. So I've got to make these anyway. Okay. Uh, so let's make... Let's make four of each of these. <laughs> I don't have any prawns. Let's get copper. We're, we're going to have to smelt up some more copper, but at least we do have some of it. And then tin. And that should make brass. Or bronze, sorry. Um, so that's still not enough bronze, I don't think. Oh, I think I can use this bronze. Yeah, I can. Okay. We do have enough. So that's four of those. We need, um, what are we getting? Four of this, four of this, four of this, no? What were we getting? What What needed copper or bronze gears? Oh, the the kits, the, the upgrade kits. <laughs> upgrade um, kit. So let's start off with just four hardened ones, right? We're going to need invar for that. What does invar require again? Inva is iron and nickel, so we might have a bit of an issue because I think I turned all of the nickel into the other constantum, con con constantum, con whatever it was. <laughs> uh, head over. Oh, let's uh also just connect this thing right there. Select the network. Bam. Twenty thousand RF. Perfect. It's working. Wait, no. Hmm. Disable limit. Hmm. The transfer limit was on twenty thousand. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this guy's empty. Nickel? How much nickel do we have? Uh, we'll turn some into dust. Let's turn nickel into dust. Um, let's... We need more of the blazing stuff. We need more obsidian power, powder, to go into this thing. We then need to time in a bottle it. So that we actually get stuff produced this year, we need this powder. Do we ha still have our backpack? No. So we've left we've left that in something. What did we leave it in? Who knows? But it, it's gone at the moment. <laughs> it's in a machine somewhere. Okay. So we need two of these. I believe that's all we need. Then I can press U on this and make some of this. I can place that in the magma crucible. I can speed that up way too fast and that's perfectly fine it should make its way into this pulverizer in due time right it should do I need a and then it should yep okay then this guy will happen I can speed him up too because it's taken way too long pulverized nickel we've already got the pulverized iron I should be able to just place them both in here and I'm going to speed up this too <laughs> and we get now Inva. Perfect. So that should be plenty. Now, we need our upgrade kit. Upgrade kit. Here we go. Uh, place all the Inva in. That should give us four. Nope. What are we missing? 
Two redstone. Are we out of redstone? We are out of redstone. So we have two for now. Then what do we want? I think we want ignition plugs. Right? You know, I'll be back. I'll check the comments and see what uh, see what they said. Yeah, okay. So, Ghost and a few others um, suggested that I use the ignition plug. So, this uses copper uh, and signalum. So, hopefully, we have all of that. Let's see. Do we have signalum already? We do. Beautiful. Uh, uh, we've got two already, so we'll make two. Um, two of these we also need. Oh, we don't have the redstone. Let's uh, get the quantum quarry on again. Hopefully, he gets us some redstone in time. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit annoying. This episode's already a bit too long. Two copper we need to uh, get that up and running. Luckily, we have two copper. Uh, the compactor is in this corner. He will compact. We will get redstone. Oh, we've already gotten redstone. Oh, it is beautiful. What a great quantum quarry. <laughs> we need... What are we missing now? Electrum? Oh, my God. What does electrum use? That was... Uh, Gold and silver. Um, gold. Do we have any dust? We do. Gold and silver. Silver dust. We have a little bit. Hopefully that is enough. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Speed it up a little bit. Collect our plate. Collect our electrum. Make our two of these. We want. Yep. Two of them complete. We're going to need more copper, I just realized. So let's get... More copper cooking. Here we go. We have plenty. Should be able to place it right in there. Collect our plastic as well. We're making a mess in our inventory. <laughs> it's, it's fine. We should be able to make one of these already. No, we need some of this. Now we should be able to make it. Boom. We've got one. We just need the two copper to be smelted. Perfect. We've got plenty. Two copper in here. Speed it up. Done in no time. And now we have what we need to upgrade two of those. Uh, we needed some more stuff for the other things. We might be able to make them by the time we get to uh, upgrading these. Or I'll do it in between episodes or at the start of the next episode. But I'll have the stuff ready. So, we should be able to go to these first two. Because why not the first two? Upgrade them. Then inside here, we can place our... So, here, can we see how much we're making at the moment? Show recipes. Uh, oh yeah, here. 60 RF a tick. That's how much we're doing. If I place this in, 240 RF a tick. It's pretty good to me. And I think there's... So once again, we've got these two upgrades as well. So we'll add those once we can uh, afford to upgrade them. So boom. That goes in. It upgrades. So to make those, uh, I've just got to get the next upgrade kit. So upgrade kit. I've got to get some reinforced stuff, which uses Electrum. Can I make this at the moment? No. So, I might stock up on some Electrum in between episodes, if I remember. I probably won't remember, but we'll stock up on some stuff. We need some more Electrum. We need some more Redstone, so I'll leave the quarry going. I'll make sure we have uh, some of this stuff. This stuff we can make, right? What do we need for, for this? Uh, pulverize Ice or something? Snowballs. Fluid transposer and the snowballs and the liquid XP, which we've got set up for the other stuff. So, yeah, yeah, we, we can do all this stuff. So, we need to get this uh, up to Signalum onto these to get all these three upgrades that we want. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for recommending this. You guys recommended this as a good power source. This is a really good power source because our extremely OP food that we have over here generates 200 RF a tick. And this is generating more than 200 RF, th these ones at least, are generating more than 200 RF a tick. And it's, I mean, it's not free because it is using oil, but it's pretty much free. Like, that was really easy to set up. We didn't have to get a, a rat and teach him how to cook special foods. <laughs> so it is pretty good. It is pretty good. Uh, I do like it. And it, it's, a, it's a different, you know what I mean? Like, it's something new that we're trying out. Some nice oil. I might even go to the nether and set up a pump. And get some magmatic dynamos up. Just so that we have them. You know what I mean? Have all different types of power generation. Let me know if you guys want me to see anything. Let me, let me know Let me know what you want to see. And I'll I'll see if I can go about doing it. I know I need to get into A, A2. But it, uh, it feels like I've already got this set up. So for now, for now, we won't get into uh, applied energistics systems. But I will eventually. I, I promise. I promise. 
But um, yeah. Let me know if you want me to put these in buildings. Like uh, try to make them look fancy. Or if you want me to finish setting it up. And then we can work on getting them fancy. Like with the machine. Uh, the mob spawning. And look at these trees. It's making trees. We've got pigs. <laughs> I don't know if I should leave this going. Oh, we're getting flowers as well. What? A beetle! <laughs> it's a beetle that spawned. And we're getting flowers. This this would be uh, free RF, right? If we had it, in, it just spawns trees. And trees can be coal and whatnot. God. This has made a mess. I'm going to leave it for now. We'll see how far it gets. We'll see what else it can spawn. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for commenting. I will see you guys in the next episode of MC Eternal. We have a big future ahead of us. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy, let me know in the comments what in particular you didn't like. And I'll see if I can go about fixing it. If you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe so it will show up in your feed. And if you want to be notified, make sure you press the notification bell.